So it's no secret I'm a shorter guy, standing at five foot six inches, a good three inches shorter than the average male height in America. And I'd say that perhaps the biggest struggle among guys that are around my height is finding clothes that actually fit well off the rack. Many of the big retail chains offer sizes that may look great on a mannequin, but they don't look good on us. And so when I first tried out Ash and Erie, I was pleasantly surprised by the way that their jeans and their button downs actually fit me. Now I'm excited to put together this try on haul of 15 pieces from Ash and Erie's current collection, all that can be found online at their website, including knit sweaters, t-shirts, polos, jeans, Henleys, flannels, and more. And I'll have everything linked down in the description for you. Finally, I wanna thank Ash and Erie for sponsoring this video and supporting Gentlemen Within. And now without further ado, let's jump right in with this Ash and Erie try on haul. First up, we're taking a look at one of the everyday shirts. This one is in muted green and it is in size small slim. It's made with 100% pre-shrunk cotton and it's designed to be worn untucked although it is just long enough where I can actually tuck this shirt in as well. The shirt itself is really light and so I would say it's more of a spring summertime shirt. The fit is slightly roomier than the extra small sizes which you're gonna see later on in this video but I like the overall fit of this particular shirt, the drape of it, it's clean and it's the proper length. Again, the sleeve length is proper. It's got that scaled collar and scaled cuffs, and so it's appropriate for shorter guys. Taking a closer look at the detail of the shirt, you can see that it's almost like a linen type fabric, and you can see kind of like a slub type pattern. And so it does have a really cool texture to it. Here I'm layering the shirt over top of a heat tech roll neck sweater, dark wash jeans, and a pair of refined boots. And I think it's an overall clean fit. Next up is the quarter zip sweater in charcoal gray, and it is made with merino wool. The size of the sweater is extra small. If you didn't know, merino wool comes from merino sheep, and so it's an extremely soft fabric. I think the fit is on point in here, and it looks great paired with these jeans and boots. And then if you wanna up the smart casual levels, just throw on a light or casual blazer. In this case, it is the gray comfort blazer from Uniqlo. And so I think it looks really nice here and it's right at home with this outfit. For the next piece, we're sticking with the everyday shirts. This one is in the Heather Blue ink and it is in size extra small slim fit and so it's a size down from the green shirt and you can tell clearly in the fit it's definitely more form-fitted to my body in fact it's a little bit too tight and so I'd say I'm kind of in between the small and extra small whenever I move my arms around it just feels a little bit too restricting and if I'm layering anything underneath then it could be an issue. Again, just like the green shirt, it is a lightweight fabric and it's great for everyday wear. The cotton material is a little bit softer than the green shirt. Again, it's 100% pre-shrunk cotton and it's fitted properly to my body. It features a casual button-down collar and I think overall it is quite form-fitting and so it might look better than the green shirt, but the fit is a little bit tighter and so it's not as comfortable. Next up, I'm layering a merino wool sweater in charcoal, it's a crew neck sweater over top of this blue shirt. The sweater size is in small. The shirt is made with 30% extra fine merino wool, 35% viscose, and 35% nylon knit fabric. I would say the overall fit is pretty good. It's a little bit roomier than the quarter zip, and so it does have a little bit of excess fabric, especially under my arms and along the body but I still think it's a clean fitted look and it looks particularly great when you again layer a blazer over top. So here I'm sticking with dark monochrome going with the charcoal gray blazer over top of the charcoal gray sweater and I think this makes for a clean smart casual fit that can take you from the office all the way to happy hour. Hey, if you're enjoying this haul video, can you do me a quick favor and smash that like button? It really does help the channel. And so thanks so much for your support. Now let's get back into the video. The third button down shirt comes from their weekend collection and it is the Faded Sky Gingham shirt. So it's got a micro gingham check. I got it in size small slim. And so it's the same fit as the green shirt. Again, the fit is good. You can wear it untucked or you can tuck it in. Sleeve length is on point body length is on point. I've had this shirt since early 2018 
just like the blue shirt and the green shirt. So these shirts have been through many wash and dry cycles and they've proven to be quite durable. Again, they're pre-shrunk. Zooming in, you can see the details of the pattern. It's little micro check patterns. It's also got a breast pocket there in case you need it. Just a nice casual shirt that is perfect for spring or summertime. And now down low for the denim, we've got the essential jeans and this one is the indigo wash. It's essentially a dark wash, a slim fit jeans and it does have slight stretch to it. It's only 1% elastane and so it's not the stretchiest of jeans. Just like a couple of the other pieces, I've had these jeans since early 2018 and they've been a go-to pair of jeans for me. Can't count the amount of times I wore these jeans casually for more smart casual outfits as well. They're just extremely versatile and I think the fit is definitely on point. It is a bit of a low rise though, which I actually prefer wearing a little bit of a higher rise for my jeans these days, but you know, it's not a deal breaker by any means. And now some details of the boots. These are the Taft Rome boots in the Oxblood colorway. It's got the cap toe there and I think it looks great with these smart casual outfits here with these ashenary pieces. If you want just to mix it up a little bit and add a little style to your fit, throw on a light quilted vest like this one from J. Crew. It is the Sussex. I just think a light quilted vest looks great over these button down shirts. It's very casual. It's definitely got an air of, you know, off duty style here. With these next outfits, we're dialing down the casualness. This one right here is featuring the staple crew neck t-shirt and it is the jet black tee in size small. I gotta commend Ash and Eerie here because you know, t-shirts are hit or miss and I think they really nailed it out of the park with the first design iteration of their tees. I think it's a pretty flawless fit. It's a little bit roomier in the body and so it's not like hugging my body, which I like. And I like the sleeves are nice and fitted around my biceps, lands right around mid bicep and the shirt length lands around mid fly. I definitely have no complaints about this t-shirt and fits nicely around the collar. It's very comfortable and not to mention it's just a stylish and basic. It's really soft cotton and what I really like about this shirt is that there is a little detail. It's like a fishtail bottom hem on the shirt which adds a little uniqueness and character to the shirt as opposed to just a straight flat hem. Down low I'm rocking the all new five pocket cotton twill pants and so as Ash and says it's a chino style but with a jeans look and so it's kind of taking the best of both worlds and putting them together. It's really comfortable pants, but it's got the refined nature of a chino. It's a really soft cotton twill fabric. I think the fit is on point. It is just as good of a fit as the indigo wash jeans. I think it actually fits better. They've made it a little bit of a higher rise. And I think the leg opening is a little bit slimmer as well. And so they've definitely worked on the design of these pants and I think they look great. They've got them in three versatile colorways of a lighter blue, this olive green here, and pebble gray. If you get a close up, it's just a really soft and smooth looking fabric. And then down low, I've paired them with these Koyo Capri sneakers in the pebble colorway. I just think it looks great. The earth tones is very neutral and definitely pairs well. Anytime you got navies, olives, and beiges, they all look great together. Next up, we're swapping the shirt for something a little more refined. It is their daily polo. This one is the navy pick polo, and I got mine in size small. Now what I really like about the polo is the premium pick cotton. It feels really soft, and it's just a nice quality feeling material. The fit to me is pretty flawless. I think it looks great. I like that there is a split bottom hem too, and so the back is slightly longer than the front, and so it adds a little bit more um, character and detail to the shirt. Looks like a rich navy blue. We'll see how it holds up in the wash, but overall it looks and feels like a premium product. If you look at the detail, there's also a right breast pocket as well. Quick swap and now we've got the white Henley shirt. So the Henley shirt is perfect for men with muscular builds and so that means I really got to get back to the weight room but I still think it fits pretty well. The sleeve length is on point. The bottom hem also has that fishtail curve similar to the t-shirt and it's the proper length. It is a little bit roomy for me but if you're a bigger build than I am then it's going to look great on you especially if you have a bigger chest. Overall it's a nice casual fit here with these sneakers and the olive chinos. Very casual and I think it looks great.
And now for these looks, we're going to get into some fall and winter flannels. This first one is their pecan plaid, and so it's a brown and black plaid pattern. It's a nice brushed flannel, and it's a pretty lightweight flannel shirt. And the shirt is soft, but it's not as soft as another shirt that I'm going to be showing very soon. Just like all of Ashineri's other shirts, it's 100% pre-shrunk cotton, and so these flannels will not shrink in the dryer. The fit is very similar to their everyday and weekend shirts. I got this in a size small slim, so I like my flannels to be a little bit roomier, and so that's exactly what I got. Down low, I'm rocking their essential jeans in midnight black. I got mine in size 2828. The material of these jeans feel different than the indigo wash ones. There's definitely a lot more stretch. I think it's a two or even 3% stretch. It's very stretchy. So it's awesome that they added that stretch to these jeans. I put them through a couple of wash and dry cycles and the black ink has faded a little bit but that's expected with any midnight black fabrics. A little detail down low, I actually cropped the pants and then I frayed them at the bottom just for a little extra style. I wanted, you know, a unique pair of pants and I had fun with that little alteration. Overall, I think the frayed jeans can look great more casually and so that's why I'm wearing them with these flannels. Flannels are always gonna look great paired with a light padded vest. And so again, I threw on that trusty olive vest from J. Crew. Looks great for fall and winter perfect layering piece. Swap the shirt. This next one is this blue and white gingham check pattern. It's got two breast pocket buttons up top. This one, as you can tell, is a little bit tighter than the previous shirt. And so this one is the size extra small slim. A little too tight for me actually, but the fit looks great. Kind of looks like I'm wearing a picnic table, doesn't it? But overall, this is the classic gingham shirt. This is a very common gingham shirt. And so that's probably why it's currently sold out on Ash and website. But I think it's a great stylish looking shirt that pairs well with these black jeans jeans and the sneakers. Again, I've got the vest on with the gingham shirt. Looks great again. Another nice fit. The colors go well together. Blue, greens, and black, and the beige sneakers. It's a clean fit. And now we've got a flannel shirt in Heather Burgundy. It is a soft brush flannel, 100% super soft cotton, and it's actually got horn style buttons, which is a nice detail that they've added to this shirt. I got the size extra small slim, and so it's their smallest size. It's a little bit tight on me, just like the gingham shirt. I really like the rich color of this burgundy. It's definitely a little bit red, a little bit purple, and if you look closer at the details, it's definitely got a nice textured look and feel to it, and so I think it's a great shirt, and it looks great with this stylish fit here. Want to dial up the style points then add a nice jacket like this car coat here i'm throwing over top of the flannels looks great it's nice and streamlined with the navy and the black pants and the refined boots i would say the fit here is on point and it's nice and comfortable finally we've got the trailhead plaid shirt and this one is brush flannel again it is the thickest of all the flannels. I'm not sure why this particular shirt is so thick, but it's definitely a very thick flannel here. This one I got in size small slim, and I would say the fit is great for a flannel, and it's a nice cool color, especially if you're a big fan of the Miami Dolphins, then you'll definitely love this shirt. Nice plaid pattern right at home for fall, and yep, that wraps up these outfits. All right, that's it for this try on haul of Ash and Erie. I'm a big fan of what they're doing and I'm excited about their new collection. Definitely looking forward to seeing what they do next. A big thank you again to Ash and Erie for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. That's all I got for this video. Cheers to your style and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.